A heads up, if you're headed downtown, you might see an increased police presence. That's because former President Donald Trump is set to attend an appeals court hearing at D.C. federal court later today. In just a few hours, his lawyers will attempt to persuade a panel of federal judges that he is immune from prosecution for his efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. News Force Joseph Omo joins us live outside of the D.C. federal courthouse with more this morning. And we see that increased presence just from the last hour, Joseph. You drive along Pennsylvania Avenue and Constitution Avenue here in downtown D.C., and you can certainly tell, Tony, that something is happening. D.C. police are slowly but surely setting up a perimeter along the federal courthouse here. There's uh, police cars set up at pretty much every corner around this courthouse getting ready because it is not every day that you have the former president of the United States uh, headed back to Washington, D.C., and certainly not to visit the White House. Let's get you up to speed real quick on what is happening here today. We saw this back in August with former President Donald Trump coming to Washington, D.C., but it was for something slightly different. He was coming to face a judge uh, along these charges of trying to overturn the 2020 election. This time he's coming because he needs to make the argument, he wants to make the argument that he should be immune from prosecution because he was commander in chief at the time that these alleged crimes took place. Also, unlike last time in August when he was here, the former president isn't just dropping in moments before appearing in court. He's actually already here in the DMV. Like you said, Tony, he landed last Last night at Dulles and he will make his trip later today from his golf course in Loudoun County to court here uh, in D.C. And back out here live, no road closures that I can see as of yet uh, along uh, Constitution uh, and, uh, and Pennsylvania Avenues, but certainly an increased police presence everywhere you look as we are just a couple hours away from the former president of the United States making his way back to Washington, D.C. Uh, to deal with one of just many legal challenges right now. Back to you guys. All right, Joseph, thank you. Speaking